Lots of teams starting region play tonight on this seventh week of high school football, including Cross Creek and Hefseba. Rebels riding a three-game winning streak entering this one. And getting on the board early, Max Lockwood, the quick pass to Raekwon Riley, no defender in sight. Awesome backdrop there as well. Rebels up 6-0 early. Later in the first, Lockwood, another quick release. Eshan Mays manages to stay up long enough to get into the end zone. Rebels up 13-0. On to the second quarter we go. Lockwood decides to take it this time. Right into the hands of Ronald Coleman. Look at that beautiful ball. Hefseba up 20 to nothing. They get their fourth straight win, 41-6 over Cross Creek. You are watching Football Friday Night. Football Friday Night is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Your CSRA Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, find new roads. Augusta Technical College, your leader in cybersecurity programs. Great deals on furniture. The deals are here. The deals are now. Game time, boy. Jostens, Georgia Campus Services, celebrating moments that matter since 1897. Now, the leader in local high school football coverage, WJBF Sports brings you Football Friday Night. Welcome and thanks for joining us on another week of Game Night Live and Football Friday Night as we join the or we start the second half of the regular season. Yeah, we're excited for it. The majority of our area teams have already began a region play with just a few exceptions. Yeah, we'll run through all the games, region and non-region, starting with a rivalry game and region opener in Wilkes County. The Washington Wilkes Tigers hosting Lincoln County. Both teams went one and three in non-region play. Who would get the early leg up in the region standings, though? Washington Wilkes. With an eight-point halftime lead, Lincoln County threatening. Long pass from Javon Reed to Duke Roberts. Some beautiful passes and catches in this game. But the Red Devils would fumble the ball away the next play. A few minutes later, Devils get a fumble themselves, and they are in business. Off of the, uh, the punt return fumble there. Look at this pass from Donovan Don Don Anthony to Brock Jackson. He gets his feet in, but this Lincoln County team isn't going to quit. Ensuing kickoff. Duke Roberts is going to go 90 yards for the score, but this was a great game. Washington Wilkes holds on for the big 22-14 win over Lincoln County. In a non-region crossover game, GHSA versus GISA. Thomas Jefferson Academy hosts Glasscock County. First quarter, no score, but the Jags, Zach Douglas punches it in. Jefferson County up 7-0. Later on, Jags up 14-0. Glasscock trying to make something happen. It's Landry Johnson on the return. He goes to the far sideline, breaks a tackle, speeds up, and he's gone. But Thomas Jefferson Academy was too much on this Friday night as Dawson Garner is going to cut up field here and score again. 42-21, to Thomas Jefferson Academy beats Glasscock County. The first game in four weeks for the Thompson Bulldogs. They did have a cancellation in between due to Hurricane Irma. Looking to stay unbeaten against Clarkson at the breakyard. No rust at all for the Bulldogs. Scoring early and often up 14 in the first three minutes of the game. It's Mills Riding's 55-yard touchdown pass to Christian Tut. Extra point makes it 21-0. And then only a couple minutes later, Thompson again. Bubba Murray, easy score. Thompson scored four touchdowns in the first seven minutes. The Bulldogs led 62 to nothing at halftime, and they get the win at 69 to zero. Lakeside hosting Bradwell Institute, going with the all-black unis for homecoming. Tough task on Friday, trying to stop Kevin Harris, the state's third leading rusher. First quarter, no score. Harris takes the handoff. Carlos Carter comes up with a big tackle for loss, and Lakeside forced Bradwell to punt on its first possession. But the Panther offense couldn't get anything on its first draft, so the Tigers had the ball right back. Vincent Gilbert hits John Spaulding across the middle. Spaulding cuts to the far sideline, takes it 37 yards down to the Lakeside 30, and then a couple plays later, Harris takes the handoff, and he's in from 17 yards out. Lakeside held the Tigers in check in the first half. They led 14-7 at halftime. The Panthers hung around in the second half, but just couldn't quite get it done as Harris rushed for 228 yards to lead Bradwell to a 27-21 win. 
Well, with eight teams in Class 2A Region 4, they're already in the third week of region play. Yeah, with three teams still unbeaten in the Region 2. Jefferson County, one of them hosting Glen Hills tonight. Let's head down to Louisville. Second quarter, Warriors up 14-0. Ty King catches the swing pass, bounces outside, just gets the ball over the pylon. Jefferson County up 21-0. Marquise Brady showing some strength for the Spartans, pulling defenders. He gets a first down to... Later, it's Glen Hills. The ball tipped up, and it's Kydron Jenkins. Comes up with the interception. And then later, it's Jaden Jenkins, who keeps it himself. And he dodges the defender, and he's into the end zone. Jefferson County improves to 6-0, 3-0 in region play. Final score, 49-8 over Glen Hills. Sticking with that region, Josie hosting Butler. Both teams looking for their first region win, second half. Butler up 26-0. Josie trying to mount the comeback. DeKale Fluellen drops back, looks around, throws it up for Myron Godby. He turns the Jets on, and no one's going to catch him. That's a Josie touchdown, but Butler still led 26-6. So fourth quarter we go. Josie ball. Fluellen scrambles, thinks he's got an open man, but Josh Clark comes up with an interception. He's eventually brought down, but the damage is done as the Bulldogs have the football back, and Butler able to capitalize. Tyrese Mitchells takes the handoff, breaks a tackle, and drags another defender into the end zone as Butler gets its first region win, 32-6 over Josie. Well, coming up next in the South Carolina portion of the show, we've got some good region battles in the Palmetto State. Yeah, the Strom Thurmond Rebels began region play tonight, and Wilson Elka was at Wagner Sally for sole possession of first place in their region. Highlights of that and much more next on Football Friday Night. Supporting high school athletics, McDonald's, proud sponsor of football Friday night. 